Hey guys, it's Heather from Tell of a Plan, and I am so excited about today's video. This is going to be a video that I'm going to be working on over the next several weeks. And so you guys won't actually see this video until like two months from right now, from when I'm starting filming it. And it'll be like a like compilation of the next two months. And right now I'm filming, it's August 17th, and... I am dying to tell you all this news. Um, it's so hard to keep a secret, but if you follow me on Instagram, you may have already seen. This is me announcing it on YouTube. But Matthew and I are pregnant, and I just can't wait to tell y'all. So this video, like, is too, I don't get to post this for two more months, but we are so excited. We have wanted to be parents for forever, ever since we got married, and it just never happened. We started some fertility meds this year. It finally happened. <laughs> I'm just so excited and this video is technically in collab with a company that I reached out to um, because you guys know I love memory keeping and I wanted a way to memory keep this journey that Matthew and I are now on. So I did some research and I found this company online. They're called Polka Dot Print Shop and they make the cutest journals. This one is a bump pregnancy journal. They also make one for toddlers, birthdays, school years. I've actually ordered... <laughs> I ordered the baby, toddler, and birthday one. It's not here yet, but it'll probably be here before I post this video. So you'll probably see it later on in this long video that you're going to see. But I thought it would be so fun because right now we're not announcing it to you guys that we're pregnant. But I thought it would be fun um, to kind of take y'all through the journey in this journal so that when we do announce, y'all can kind of like look back with me and see what we've been up to the past two months keeping this big secret. So every week that I fill this out, it's technically every other week. I'm going to film it so that you guys go along with the journey and you can just see what we've been up to. So I'm really excited about this video. I'm excited to show you all this notebook. Again, this is from a company called Polka Dot Print Shop. They have this in several colors. This is their canary version, which I had to get because it's got the yellow, but then it has the blue and the pink. So it's kind of gender neutral since we don't know the gender yet. Um... Let's flip through this, see what this journal's like, and then we're going to do the first couple pages together. And then every week I'm going to add to this, and then I can't wait to publish this in October for y'all to hear. Okay, so it starts out, bump book, weekly pregnancy journal, the story of, I'm going to leave this blank for now because I'm going to want to letter the baby's name once we have gender and name. So here, we're going to, we're going to decorate these together in this first part in a minute after we flip through this. So this says baby on the way, and it just talks about how you found out. Um, and then I have, I'm going to put some pictures so that it always has these blank pages next to it. So I love that you could journal over here and then add some pictures over here. So it's going to be kind of like memory keeping. Then we have doctor's appointments, pregnancy milestones, and then we have some blank pages where you can memory keep. Then it starts with six weeks, which I am six weeks and one day right now in this video. So I will be filling this out this week and then it goes every other week. So it does your even weeks. So you go eight weeks. 10 weeks, 12 weeks, and it has the same questions, and then it has a place where you can put a photos each week. So it asks you what's new, cravings and aversions, symptoms and mood, pregnancy milestones, and mommy's thoughts. And then you have an overview of the first trimester. You have a letter that you can write your baby after the first trimester. Then you have some blank pages to do some more scrapbooking. And then it goes 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28, and then the second trimester overview, and then some scrapbook pages, and then 30, 32, 34, 36, 38, 40, and then the third trimester overview, and then some more scrapbooking pages, and then your labor and delivery, your birth story, and then a letter you can write your baby about the moment that you met them. Some more scrapbooking pages, and then at the end of the book, you would then move into the baby book, which I've, they sent me this one. Um, for free to show you guys, but I've ordered the baby one that I just paid for myself. I do have a coupon code. It's called Cull of a Plan. You can use that to get a discount if you're interested in checking this out. 
but I thought it would be fun to go ahead and do these pages together. So I printed out these stickers. This was the morning that we found out we were pregnant. Some of the tests we took that afternoon we went and I made Matthew buy a little nightgown with me. And then I took a little picture with the pregnancy sticker book because I've waited forever to use it. So I'm going to take this big picture and I'm going to place it over here like this. And then let's take, they also sent me these washi that match the book. So it's got the pink, the pink, blue, and yellow. So I'm going to use some of this washi. And then let me get my X-Acto knife. Oh no, I just like threw that on the ground. It almost jabbed me. Okay. So we're going to trim this and then we're going to trim this. cute that is and then I'm gonna put just the little one up here like so and then another one just fold that over okay Then I'm going to put this like so. And I'm going to add some stickers. So we'll put one like that. And I just printed these um, on my printer on sticker paper and then I cut it on my Cricut. And then I'm going to put this like this. Look how cute that is. I can't wait to, to be able to talk with y'all about this. I'm just, we're just so excited. Okay, so then over here, I'm going to fill this in with yellow and black. Once I fill it in, I'll come back and show it to you guys. All right, so let me flip back so I can show you. So I filled out this little section with the photos and some little notes. And then I filled out this whole section about the baby being on the way. My hand is cramping from writing this much. But I wrote about when I found out I was pregnant, my reaction, who I told first, Matthew, of course, and then my sister, what I'm excited about, what I'm nervous about. This was a lot of fun to, to do, and I love this little scrapbook page. And then here we have pregnancy milestones. So I'm going to go ahead and fill these in. The positive pregnancy test, our first one was on August... First, so y'all, I have been keeping this secret from y'all for so long, and I'm so excited that it's finally time to tell y'all. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited. Um, our first doctor's appointment, we haven't had it yet, it's next week, so I am so ready for that. But it's gonna be August 24th. 2021 um first baby purchase we purchased a sunshine gown set we went the day we found out and yeah that's all I can fill out so far okay and then here I'll fill in my doctor's appointment stuff 
and then six weeks is this week so I need to take a picture of some things from this week to put over here um, and then I need to fill this out so I may wait until later in the week just because I don't have the photo yet I need to take a photo even though it's just basically me <laughs> um we can we can at least go ahead and do this so what's new cravings and aversions so I don't really have any cravings yet no cravings yet but the smell of ketchup makes me gag. I have been so exhausted. Lots of naps. Other than that, I'm feeling great. Pregnancy milestones. I feel like there's not really, I mean, halfway through the first trimester, I guess you could say. Halfway through the first. nervous about the next six weeks because I feel like they say the next six weeks are when you get really sick <laughs> so I'm really nervous about that mommy's thoughts um I'll probably fill that in separately so I'm gonna go and do a picture really fast and then I'll come back so we can do this page now. all right so I printed some photos for this week this one I feel so silly taking bump photos because there's there's no bump um but I guess eventually maybe someday there will be and this will be a good comparison photo so let's put some washi some pink down here let me get my exacto knife whoops sorry hit the camera I'm gonna trim this washi Give it that cute look. Okay. And then another one up here. And another one up here. Cute. Then I'm going to grab my Rainbow Basics book. And I'm gonna go to the pink section. And we'll put a little box right here. And then this one, I'm gonna make a little thing about how I keep taking pregnancy tests, just to make sure that they're really positive. I know that's probably crazy, but I just can't believe it. And then we can put this little box like this. And then here, this is a picture of my mother-in-law. When we told them that we were pregnant, we made them a sign for their 40th wedding anniversary. And at the bottom, it said one grandchild. And that's her face when she realized what it said. So, I'm going to put these. And then I'm going to use probably my yellow pen over here and fill this in with the captions and then we'll be done so far um so then i'll probably put some pictures here since this is doctor's appointment i'll probably put some once we have ultrasound I'll put those on that page and then i'll come back in two weeks and we'll do this page together and see how things have changed all right i can't wait for you all to see this video so today i get to do week eight i will say when we went and had our ultrasound um they pushed us back a week so when i thought i when I went to the ultrasound, I thought I was seven weeks, but they pushed me back to six weeks. 
which means when I did this, I was technically five weeks. I don't know. I'm pretty sure I'm, but whatever. We're just going to go with what they say. So this is eight weeks, although I thought it was nine, nine weeks, but I printed some photos and yeah, let's get started. First, I'm going to put some photos over here and I'm going to put this photo of me and Matthew. This is when we went to our ultrasound. So I'm going to put these like so. Then I'm going to pull out my Rainbow Basics sticker book. Let's put a yellow box right here. And then I'm going to get the yellow washi that they sent. And I'm just going to lay it. like this. This was technically like two weeks ago when we went to do our ultrasound, but I haven't done, worked in this since then, so I'm just going to put it here. And then last week, technically on week seven, I told my nieces and my nephews, and it was so cute. So, Maddie, I have like a whole video. It's the cutest video in the whole world. Um, and then here I just screenshot when we FaceTimed my other nieces and nephews. So we're going to put those in like that. And then let's put a double box so we can write a lot here. that's probably good. I can write stuff in here. So let's put at our first ultrasound, we measured a week behind, but they said, sorry, Matthew's closing the garage. If you can hear that, that's really loud. Everything else looked great. And then down here, we told our nieces and nephews about the baby. Maddie is so excited. Lexi was shocked. Carter really wants a boy and Blake could care less. It was so fun to share the news with I feel like I need something over here. Maybe I'll letter like a quote or something. It just feels a little blank. Um, let's see. The first ultrasound was on August 24th. So I can write that in. Um, yeah. That's all that I can fill in here. And then I'm going to write this in. I'm not going to make y'all watch me write all this because that's going to be boring. But I'm going to fill this in and then we're ready for eight weeks. 
I can't wait because only a few more weeks so I can post this video and tell you guys. <laughs> We're so excited. All right, bye guys. All right, I'm back to do week 12. Um, I did go ahead and I got to fill in our first baby gift from my college roommate, which we're gonna, that looks really bad. The pen I was using, like ran out of ink. I have a picture that I'm gonna put in this week. So it's so crazy, we did week six, eight, and now we're doing week 10. I went ahead and filled all this in so that it was just already done. But I have three photos for this week, so let's put this one first. I want to make sure that I'm not just laying them in the same spot. Okay, so for this one, this is the picture that Matthew and I took um, this week or last week to, this is the one we're going to share on our personal Facebook page when we announce, because we still haven't announced that we're pregnant. So I'm super excited about that. And... Let's take this box and put it here. And this is where we can write about the photo. And I'm gonna put this washi like this. And then this is the picture of me and my college roommate. She gave us our first baby gift. It's a little onesie that says, Cal of a baby. So cute. I got to see her. We went to Alabama to check in on my grandmother. And we got to see her while we were there. And then here's a picture of me and Matthew with the same onesie. I thought that was cute. So for this one, I'm going to put this box here. And add this little photo. And then I kind of want to put another box down here just to journal about. We went to Alabama and told my grandmother that we were pregnant. So I kind of want to journal about that in that box. So I'm going to put this washi here. Okay. So we're going to put, we took this photo to use on Facebook when we announce that we are pregnant. I can't wait to tell the world the suspense is killing me. All right, and then down here, I'm going to put Charlie gave us our first baby gift, a onesie that says Kel of a baby. So cute. And then over here, I'm gonna put we told Mama last week she asked how I knew for sure. Ha ha. She is very excited, and so are we. So when we told my grandmother, Matthew had on a shirt that said, take it easy on me, my wife's pregnant. 
and I told her to read the shirt. Sorry, my dog just came in here. And she was like, are you sure? How do you know? And I was like, well, I went to the doctor. <laughs> it was funny. So there is week 10. And then we have week 12 when we go back to the doctor. And if everything looks good, I get to announce it. So I'm not, this part won't be in this video because this video will go up before. Um, so, but you got to at least see me do everything else along the way it was so fun to get to kind of take y'all on this journey before we were telling people and um if, if y'all are interested in seeing me fill more of this out let me know and if not i'll probably just fill it out separately but if you are interested in this notebook again it's from polka dot print shop and you can use code caliber plan for a discount okay the bump pregnancy journal all right if you like this video i hope you hit the like button if you want to see more of my videos hit that subscribe button and happy planning